Welcome everybody. In this video, we are going to talk about nested if statements. This is when we define an if statement inside of another if statement, and it's only going to be evaluated if that section of code is reached. So in our example, we can ask the user if they want to play a game. If they say yes, then we can ask them what difficulty they want the game to be played at. We're not going to ask the difficulty if they say no, we're not going to play a game. So that's the example we're going to try to accomplish, and it's pretty similar if you want to give it a shot. Basically, just ask the user what difficulty after they say they want to play a game. So hopefully, if you pause the video, you were able to get that figured out, but I'm gonna show you the way I'm gonna do it. But first, I wanted to say thank you to our sponsor of this series, Embarcadero C++ Builder. This is the tool if you want a better C++ development experience, such as debugging. This is a tool that will allow you to follow your code line by line, and this is an experience that is often much harder to set up with a simple text editor. If you're looking to get really good at C++, and software development, then I would recommend checking out Embarcadero C++ Builder. I'll drop a link down below. And with that, let's get started. We are going to now talk about nested if statements. Here in our code, we only want to ask them if the response is, yes, I want to play a game. So we'll say, let's play a game then. After we say that, we will define another if statement. And inside here, we will ask some other comparison to see what they say. So what are we going to ask them about? Let's say what difficulty they want to play it at. What difficulty? And then we will end that there. Since we're not putting the new line, they will just type it on the same line there. That's why this one doesn't have a new line either. And we will give them a suggestion on how to use this. So easy, medium, hard. And then we will get an input. So let's go ahead and define a string difficulty right there. And then we'll say C in providing a value for difficulty. Now let's go ahead and check for what that value is. If difficulty is equal to, and now we will compare against a string easy. What we will do is output something to say that the difficulty is easy. Right now we're just really just outputting strings, but as you continue to build upon this, you could actually configure the game settings if you get that far. But just outputting things is the easiest way to understand these concepts. So we'll just say easy peasy lemon squeezy. Beautiful. And similar concept, we can do an else if, so we'll say else if we will put the parentheses and some other expression difficulty being equal to and this time we'll say medium and we'll just put a generic C out as well C out medium good so far and then finally we will do another else if difficulty is hard and for this we will just say see out hard there we go so let's try this out we will run do you want to play a game yes I do what difficulty medium and it says medium let's try it again with hard do you want to play a game? Yes. What difficulty? Hard. And it says hard. Honestly, I thought I had more to say. That's pretty much it for nested if statements. In the next video, I want to talk about logical operators, which are very important for comparisons. So definitely stay tuned and I'll see you then.